It's 25 years since Ocean Colour Scene played three sold-out nights at Stirling Castle and the band's love of Scotland and Scotland's affection for the group continues to this day. It does indeed and I met with lead singer Simon when he was recently in Edinburgh to reflect on Ocean Colour Scene's rise to fame, if there is a chance of a return performance at the castle and why appearing on Top of the Pops was quite frankly boring. Simon, thank you so much for joining me here at the Traverse Theatre in Edinburgh. It's a pleasure. pleasure. And this is a bit of a Q&A, an acoustic show. Tell me about it. Yeah, well, my friend Daniel, I mean, I've known him since he was five. We kind of grew up pupils away from each other. So we wrote a book together. Did from a series of interviews, really. Yeah. And he got all these old photographs, um, which are fr frighteningly, I'm frighteningly young. <laughs> Yeah, I think I ate that person on the front <laughs> cover, actually. Yeah, I can't believe it's me. The Scots, though, they adore you. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's not weird, but where did that come from? I don't know. Scotland. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It, it's been like it for a long, long time. We came, we came up to Scotland right from the off. I think our spiritual home is probably, truly, is uh, the Barrowlands in Glasgow. Last year we played there, and we all got. Is that the best one we've ever done? Mm. And I think it was. He's our godfather, really, yeah. Paul. You know the modfather, he's our godfather and a great, <laughs> great pal. And so are Oasis, um, we had a great time with them. But really, the guy who really, really made it for us was Chris Evans. Yeah. Without Chris, um, none of this would have happened. Ocean Colour Scene, the Riverboat song, the new single, out now! It changed things literally overnight. The album went in at number two, stayed there for the best part of six months. And suddenly we were in the, in the fast lane. It was everything that we'd hoped for. And all of those stories about people like us and those Gallagher people, they're all true. <laughs> in fact, that... most of them, most of the stories actually you're, you're never going to hear. <laughs> gigs in Scotland that everybody talks about, Stirling Castle. Ah. What are your memories of that? Well, when I got there, I was slightly disappointed because I realised that we were playing in the car park. <laughs> and then I thought, well, I, for some reason I thought we'd be in on the, the castle. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. three nights there and we had a load of mad pipers on the first night we went on. I think it's an anniversary, isn't it? It's the 25th Is it? anniversary. Oh, no. Does that make you feel old? No. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. Yeah. Uh, I think that we should revisit that at some point. Oh, that would be the dream. Mm. Do you think you will do that? Well, now you mention it, I think <laughs> we will. I will sort it out with my people. You have to make that happen because... Yeah, I think we is, do, don't we? It's all legendary. Can you pick out one or two standout moments? Can you can you do that when you look back? I mean, it should be top of the pops, but 
hate to say this, but it's incredibly boring. <laughs> no, was it? The studio, honestly, was not much bigger than this stage, and I'd grown up watching this, so I was like, really? Yeah. There's not 300 people there? No, there's 30. We just moved them around very quickly, and we got very good cameramen. <laughs> But that was that was that was ridiculously an honour, really, to do Tom Dobbs. And the first time we, that we did the album. Wanting to be in a rock and roll band and do what we did. I mean, wanted wanted to be on a football commentator seemed ludicrous enough. I wanted to be John Motson, but to be want to be John Lennon just seemed like a step too far from someone from Birmingham, really. Do you think, Simon, that you will just keep going? We've got a new manager who's a guy called Alan McGee, who is Mr. Scotland. <laughs> And so he's, I think he's given us a bit of impetus as well. And there's, there are, there are, there are plans to do an album, a new album, and a return to Stirling Castle. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Every OCS yeah. fan is going to be overjoyed with that.